hey, everybody, what could possibly be wrong with retiring early? Really? That sounds like a dream for most people. Well, workaholics have problems doing it, but also a lot of people are going to find it very difficult to retire early. So let's look at some of these reasons. Health insurance. Holy cow, it's an eye opener if you have to go get health insurance on your own. 55 year old, 505 a month with a $9,000 deductible. Do all the math on everything that you could have to pay for in a year and you're looking at over 17,000 per year per person. Going up even higher, obviously, the older you are, the more expensive you are to insure for health insurance. A 60 year old, 615 a month, it's 115 a month more. So we've got to understand that, that, look, we have to find some alternatives. We have to look at our choices out there because that's quite a bit of money for a normal person. Certainly, if you're super wealthy, you can pay these bills. But for a lot of people, it doesn't make sense. So maybe some of these cost sharing networks are the answer. Uh, I've been on one for, oh boy, five years now, and it's worked just fine for me. But what happens when a lot of people go on it? We don't know. So we've got to look at this uh, as a legitimate concern for retiring early before 65 when Medicare begins. And then all your health insurance worries are gone. Then there's accessing your IRA, 401k, 403b, all that pre-tax money right? The IRS puts a ton of restrictions on there. They don't make it easy to navigate these restrictions. So 10% penalty on all withdrawals before 59 and a half is the problem here. You can certainly try to borrow money from your 401ks and 403bs, keeping it in that status, but then you're in their investing matrix, which doesn't have very good, uh, you know, safe investing strategies for withdrawal, then there's the 72T option, which is this technical crazy calculation from the IRS. You can amortize it. But these are all kind of long-term decisions that put us in a difficult position. We don't want to have to use this money if we're going to retire early. So having a plan without it is always going to be better. Where will your income come from, right? I mean, think about this. If you retire at 55 and you don't have a pension that doesn't start till say 65 and so scary that you might want to wait till 70, what are we doing? How are we funding our retirement? And are we really talking about 10 plus years of having to use our resources to pay our bills? That gets a little scary, say, especially when we don't have access to our IRA. So we have to have an idea of where this income is going to come from to fund our retirement things to consider. I mean, how much savings do you have that's not IRA? What about Roth? Are you allowed to use your Roth? Have you met the five-year rules? There's lots of rules on Roth that you have to be very careful of. Rental income. For a lot of people that retire early, that's one of the ways to do it. Rental income. We can utilize investment real estate to pay us income that we're going to use, but we have to have a cushion, right? What if we have renters that bail and we have to redo all the carpet and it takes us two months to fix all the problems and get it back rented? So we got to run into, we got to make sure we have a contingency plan for the problems that occur when you're a landlord relying on that income for retirement. Longevity. Look, if you retire at 55, it's very possible you're looking at 40 years of funding life without work. God, really think about that, okay? We can't predict anything 40 years into the future. It's hard enough to predict next year, right? So we've got to be careful about what we're doing. We have to make sure that we have enough money, that our income is going to be enough. What will interest rates be? Inflation, stock market. We Look, we have to have a cushion. We can't just predict best case scenario and say, oh, we'll make it. We can't just hit a Monte Carlo button and say, oh, it predicts that we're 97% going to make it. Uh, look, we can't rely on this stuff. There's no modeling of this stuff. It might give us some personal confidence, but nothing, no computer system or anything else can predict 40 years into the future what the economics of our world looks like, who the superpowers are going to be next. Because legitimately, we have a lot of time between now and uh, the end, right? So 
how do we spread out these resources? We can't just rely heavy on our savings early on because we may need more of it later on. So we gotta be careful with this stuff. Then life can be more expensive than we think. And we see this, it's weird. Some of our clients, life is a lot more expensive than they thought and they're really moving through some of their money. But the vast majority of our clients are on the next slide. So understand that when you go to retirement, every day is a Saturday, right? You have to find something to fulfill your day. Healthcare expenses, vacations, hobbies, emergencies. Unfortunately, I've even seen kids be one of the more uh, the bigger expenses in retirement, kids and grandkids for that matter. So just understand that you have to look at your budget a little more realistically and cushion it and make sure we have enough resources for that. But here's what where most of the clients uh, fall into. The pressure of retiring early and not having any income causes a lot of people to do very little and spend very little. It's just pressure because you're so afraid of running out of money. So then you don't even really get to enjoy those early years. Right, The whole idea of retiring early is so you can go enjoy those years, but that fear takes over. You get into that retirement mode and you're like, oh, I'm afraid of going on vacation and spending the money on that vacation. I'm, I don't want to do this. I don't want to do that because I'm worried about running out of money. So it's important to uh, to to get a grasp on that and planning and budgeting, all the work that we put into making sure people are in the right position and working as efficiently within their means as possible is really important. I also find a lot of people because of that health insurance problem, forcing their income really low until they get to social security or get to uh, Medicare. Um, so they can get some discounts on the uh, on on the health insurance as well. But look, I, retiring early sometimes it's not it's all it's cracked up to be. Plus, think about this: there's a lot of time in the day. How will you fill it? <laughs> some people fall into this problem, right? First off, if you're married, are you used to being together twenty four seven? A lot, a lot of the younger people are now because of uh, COVID and because working at home, things like that. But a lot of people are not used to being together 24-7. So you, you, if you're married, have to think about that. You're heading into retirement. How are you two going to coexist 24 hours a day? Friends workaholics they just their whole life is work and they leave work and they don't really have any form of a social life anymore so they go sit on the couch and stew so please please understand that one of the big success markers and enjoyment in retirement even if you're somebody who is not a social person is finding that social outlet outside of work when you leave work where is that social outlet? Whether it's golfing with buddies or it's going out to dinner or going to the bar or wherever, you've got to get out of the house and you have to have other people to interact with. Whether you want to or not, it's good for you. So think about how you're going to fill your day. Okay. I think a lot of people that work really hard, the idea of retiring early is glamorous and wonderful and fantastic. And for the first week, it feels so good to do nothing. <laughs> but then the twiddling of the thumb settles in and we got to be careful about that. So got to think through all these things with, if you're going to try to retire early. And when I say retire early, certainly anything in the 50s, but nowadays, even in the early 60s, we don't usually have all of our income resources and a lot of other stuff. So we do have to think about a lot of that. So hopefully this helps, gives you a lot of things to think about. It's still just another puzzle for me. And it's so much fun to try to figure out the pieces of how to make this happen. Look, here's my resources. How do I do this? This is my dream. Great, let's figure it out. Give us a call, shoot us an email, whatever it is, I can help out with it. We love doing this. Uh, interact with us below. We're always linking reports down in the this, uh, description section below. Share some comments, share this with other people, subscribe to the channel. I love doing these. Let me know that you like watching them. Thanks again. We'll see you next week. Mm -hmm.